Hello, everyone. Thank you for listening my presentation. I'm Shen Xiyu from Newcastle University Microsystem Group. The title of my presentation is Carried Mode Carry Free Multiplier Design Using a Memristor Transistor Crossbar Architecture. First, I will give a briefly introduction of our work. Our research is about a novel multiplier design using current mode transistor memory register crossbar to achieve carry free function in multiplier. The building of multiplier is usually based on mapping the algorithm of multiplication. However, the carry propagation needs additional logic chain to generate respective carry chain. On circuit level, a digital logic chain means a digital circuit structure. However, the additional circuit structure leads more data transfer steps and more circuit components. These issues will lead to following problems, such as more major circuits standing by time, longer period for each promising step, higher energy consumption, and lower power efficiency. Many researchers try to solve above problems by different methods. Some of them applied lower structures, and others tried simplified logic expressions. However, the major issue, carry propagation procedure, still exists and generates the problems. Therefore, our design is focusing on changing the carry propagation method. We merge the carry in the form of current by accumulate multiplication operation. All the partial products current are multiplied by respective binary digits. Then, this step is performed by current mirror amplifier. After that, the Kirchhoff current log circuit will add all the partial products up and generate the final products for the current sensor. In these procedures, carry is generated but not directly mapped. All the carries are sent to final products. As the figure on the right side shows, the multiplicand is input voltage column. The multiplier is one T, one R cell resistance row. All the current characters are defined as follows. High input voltage in multiplicand is logic 1, the low case is logic 0. High 1T1 amp cell resistance is logic 0, and the low case is logic 1. The following part is circuit characteristics. As I said, the operation pulse of the logic cell gets three parts. So pulse alpha set logic 0 for the logic cell, which means the alpha pulse will switch the memory resistance state from low to high. The beta pulse will set logic 1 for the cell because the beta pulse will switch memory state resistance state from high to low. The gamma will retain the logic state for the cell because it will not change the resistance state of the memory register. Depends on the combination of the input voltage and resistance state of one to one cell, the output current have a highest value which generated by the high input voltage and the low one to one cell resistance states. This current is set as logic 1, 
all the rest three currents are set with logic zero. As the binary logical value generated by logic cell has a respective analog value, the accuracy of logic cell is also dependent on difference between analog values of logic one and analog logic zero. And the analog current value is generated by input voltage and the memory resistance. Thus, under the same input voltage, the higher high over low resistance states difference is the higher accuracy logic cell gets. The figure on the right side gives a detailed description about the proposed multiplier. It is built with 21 cell crossbar and the current mirror amplifier. The multiplicand and multiplier are in digital time. The partial products are in generated in analog time. After the accumulation, final product will be in digital type again. The rest part are experimental analysis. The comparison between simulation value and calculation value shows that the proposed multiplier generates good accuracy when performing large output multiplication. The figure on the right side shows that all switching operands are indeed to perform its function. Alpha, beta, gamma function can be shown by the change of the respective current. When compared with other two multipliers, the proposed multiplier shows a balanced update between the delay and the power consumption. Moreover, low resistance state gives proposed multiplier a much better accuracy performance. As it concluded, we apply the voltage as multiplicand and the output are in the form of detailed current. Thus, the computing procedure is processing in the form of energy, which can also be called energy computing. The memory has both line volatile and passive characteristics because the basic component is line volatile resistor memory. These characters also allow the proposed multiplier adjustable accuracy, which based on the resistance set in memory. In the future, non-stop computing can be developed from the proposed multiplier as the non volatile ability is memory head. Furthermore, the memory component can be adjusted and only over ratio voltage, which means the high over low state switching can be achieved. This it means that the logic state of memory cell can be switched under any over ratio cases. The passive energy computing of the proposal multiplier can be performed any, under any below ratio input voltage, which means the proposed multiplier can keep performing computing once it gets powered. Finally, we can conclude that the accuracy adjustable non-stop computing can be accessed from proposed multiplier. That's all my presentation. Thank you.